Okay, so this is one of my very favorite sites. Unfortunately, it is blocked by our district, so we can only look at it when um, I'm doing this screen share on my own computer here. So when you get in, so what you're looking at here is an actual top view of our solar system. So you can see here that we have the sun in the middle and all of the planets are on the outside and they've even included Pluto, even though Pluto is technically not a planet anymore. Um, so this is really cool and we'll play with these controls in a second. But right now I just want to show you um, kind of why the Greeks and Ptolemy came up with the, the observations that they did. Because right now you can see that Earth is obviously, it's real small, but it's orbiting the sun along with the other planets, okay? Um, but what we're going to do is show you what happens if you're on Earth, how your view of what the motion of the planets and the sun are doing changes. So we all know that if you watch the sun during the day from Earth, it appears the sun is going across the sky and it's going to rise and set. But in reality, we know that we are orbiting the sun and we are also rotating on our axis, which is why the position of the sun changes in our sky throughout the day and throughout the year. So that apparent motion, what we actually see versus what is actually happening is one of the big reasons that early observations of astronomers were the way that they were. So let's go ahead and move on to this next thing. What they did there was took off the orbits. And so now you can just sort of see the planets and the view from above of what it looked like. And then what's going to happen is we're going to go in a little closer. So this is just showing the sun is the center still, and it zoomed into our inner planets, the four inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. You can see Mercury is the closest, and then you've got Venus and then Earth and Mars. So Mercury goes around really quickly, as you can see. And this time is sped up. You can see over here on the top, the time is going really quickly. So obviously we don't fly around the sun that quickly. So they're going to now remove a couple of the planets. You can see Jupiter out here going by. Um, and so there's a huge gap between Mars and Jupiter. Jupiter is the first of the outer planets. So we're going to put Earth in the center. Like right now we're seeing the sun. They're going to move it to Earth being the center. And they're going to get rid of a couple of other planets, Mars and Mercury, I believe, and just leave Venus. So now when Earth is still, so this is what it feels like to us. We're seeing a view because to us, we're sitting still and everything else is moving around us. That's what it feels like. So you notice if you were standing on Earth here, the sun would rise and the sun would set. So you'd be here and there it goes, it rises and sets. And then it rises and sets. Now Venus on the other hand is really awkward. Look at the view that you would see if you were looking at Venus. Every so often, as it came around, it would do a little backward circle. So it would come around, and then it would pause and go backwards. It would almost appear to retrograde. It would do like a little loop. So if you were Ptolemy, and you were looking at this, you would say, hey, it appears that they're doing their own little orbits on a bigger orbit around us. So you could see it appears like Venus is orbiting around Earth. But every once in a while, it makes a little small orbit on a smaller circle, okay? So that's what he's talking about. So now, uh, they slowed it down just a little bit, but the Earth is in the middle. Now what's happening is they're showing the orbits on right there. So you can still see Venus is clearly orbiting the sun, okay? So it's orbiting the sun, and that's why sometimes in a certain time of the year, we're really close to Venus. Earth and Venus are right next to each other, okay? So this is during the year when Venus goes around. You can see right here, it gets nice and close to Earth. And then it's at a really far point when it's way out here. So when you turn the orbits on, you can kind of see, oh, that's why it is a little bit different like that. Venus goes faster around the sun than Earth does. Okay. So now we are going to turn on the trails. This is what it would look like to us if Venus, okay, was in its, if we were on Earth and Venus is running its path. 
So you can see Venus is still going around the sun. And every so often, it does a little retrograde in the sky. It makes that little small loop right here. So by turning on the trails, it's really cool. So these, this is what the astronomers did. They mapped what the motion was according to what they saw in the sky. So they would map out from Earth where Venus was, and they would end up with these observations. And then what would happen is they would use the math, the mathematical portion of it, and they would try to plot out the paths of all the planets. Okay, so the next part is going to show you the change in distance in kilometers. So you can see it, sometimes it's clear out about two, let's see, where are we at? 200 million, I believe. Yeah, out there. So we're out at 250 some million. And then when we get really close, okay, we're only at like 41 million kilometers away from Earth. So there's a huge change just because Venus is orbiting the sun as well. Um, so then they changed it to astronomical units. So we use astronomical units for large distances because we would be out in the trillions and zillions and all of those <laughs> billions that we have. We would be too far to use kilometers. So they use astronomical units for astronomy, measuring far distances. Okay, so now we're going to add in uh, Jupiter. So they zoomed out and there's Jupiter. So now you can still see Earth is in the center and look at Jupiter. Looks like it's just doing its own little orbits. So Ptolemy had a very good observation. Unfortunately, mathematically, it didn't actually predict the, the true places of the planets. And so further in time, when Copernicus comes along, we end up having a new theory. So now they're gonna increase the speed and you're gonna see Jupiter just do its nice little orbit there. So it just boop, plops around. Now we know it's actually going around the sun, but to Earth, that's what it appears like. So it's pretty crazy to see that. And now they've added in some of the other planets. So you've got Mercury again in there, Mars, and you've got Saturn out here. Again, all of them just look like they're kind of, look at Mars if you look at it. Mars is cool because it goes really far out and gets close again, just kind of like how Venus does. Saturn and Jupiter, the other two, uh, Uranus and Neptune, are just going to be doing these little circles out there. Now when you add the orbits, since we know they're going all around the sun, pretty crazy. So what's cool about this site is you can change things. So if you want to change Venus as the center of everything, what does it look like if you, if Venus, if you were on Venus? Or what would it look like if you were on uh, Jupiter? Let's do Jupiter. Okay, so Jupiter becomes... Still, and you can see all the inner planets together look like they're just going in a little circle around Jupiter and doing their own little crazy circles. Saturn kind of does what Jupiter did to us. So Saturn's doing these big loops outside of Jupiter. Um, so it's interesting. And then you can go back to just having the sun as the center. This is what it really is. Now ignore these trails because Jupiter's, while it appears it's still doing these trails to us, it's to, if you were on the sun, it's just doing a nice smooth orbit. So that's what's cool about this. So then you can obviously speed it up and slow it down. Okay. Um, and I haven't figured out yet how to get the trails on without going through. I've been playing with it. But you can put Earth back in the middle. And when you speed it up, it's kind of crazy to watch. And I'm going to zoom in. Um, let's zoom in. So I'm just going to go to the inner planets to get Jupiter out of there. But when you speed it up, reverse it a little bit, get Mars back in. Um, you can see what they were looking at, how they saw all these things bouncing around out there. So it's pretty crazy to see how our what we observe. There you go. Look at Saturn and Uranus. Look at them all doing just kind of, so remember, Earth is in the center now. They're all just doing their own little circles. So Ptolemy had a really smart idea. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out correctly. Okay, so I'm going to stop this now, and you can go on to the next slide.